I am here with this week's goodies, and yes, I am wearing the same outfit as last week because I'm filming all these goodies videos on the same night. Yes. So, just so you know, in the upcoming weeks, I'm going to have on this outfit as well. Here are two new body washes from Dial Naturals. And this is, what is this? Plum Blossom and Almond Oil. It's got that flower on it. And this is Tangerine and Guava. And they both say on them that they were tested by the European Bioskin Institute. 94% natural origin, no artificial dyes, and it's supposed to be hypoallergenic. Allergenic. Natural is moisturizing body wash. So I am looking forward to trying these. These are going in my shower. They're on the list of stuff. There is a review very shortly coming up on these. I was really excited to get these. And I posted about these on Facebook. It's the EOS. I say EOS. Some people say EOS. EOS is short for Evolution of Smooth. So you can say it either way. This is their Ulta Ultra Moisturizing Shave Cream. Now there's three. I don't think it's more than three different scents. It's really nice shaving cream because I have used it. I've used the, um, which one have I used? I've used the Lavender and Jasmine. This is what the top looks like. And... This is the one I've used half empty. You can use it to shave in the shower with water, or you can just put the cream on and shave with that so you can shave dry as well. It's really moisturizing. It's really nice. So I'll save my review for later. But I picked all these up on clearance. They're regularly three something, and they were $1.99 on clearance at Walgreens. So I don't know if they're discontinuing or what's going on. Before the summer annual sale started, Oh my goodness, you guys don't know what I just realized. There was a sale on the aromatherapy body washes, and they were 5 bucks. and they usually retail for $13, so this was a really great deal. So I picked up the newest, which is the Boost Tangelo Woods Body Wash Foam Bath, and I also got another of my Lavender Chamomile Body Wash and Foam Bath. And I just noticed that the top is broken. Oh well. But yeah, those were 5 bucks, so that was a great deal. Um, I didn't stock up on a bunch of them, but that was a great deal. Also from Walgreens, these were on clearance. These were supposed to be $8, and they were on sale for 4 Burt's Bees Extra Energizing Citrus and Ginger Root Body Wash. Looks like that. And then this, I'm really looking forward to trying. Burt's Bees Fabulously Fresh Peppermint and Rosemary Body Wash. This is going to be invigorating. And this will probably be an amazing foot soak as well. It might be too much for the, the shower. Whoa. I don't know. We'll see. Whew. That peppermint is like. So that was a really, really good deal. These I also picked up at Walgreens. Now this is usually $12 and it's a really good product. It's the Nair Hair Remover Shower Power. I have the Max because it even works on coarse hair. My hair is kind of coarse. Um... Works while you shower. Cream for legs and body. So it says smooth skin days longer than shaving with soothing lavender and vitamin E. So what you do is you smooth it on. You can use a sponge to smooth it on or like your hands. And then you can technically, you're supposed to be able to take a shower with it on. I actually never do that. I put it up before I get in the shower. And then um, I wait a amount of time before I actually get in the shower. And then you can be in the shower and like the water will hit your legs, but it won't wash all the cream off. And then you can use this to remove it. It's like a bumpy uh, sponge. I just totally gave you a review of this, but I am reviewing it later with in more detail. But this is the Shower Power Max, which I have tried before and I will be talking about. Now this one I haven't tried. It's the Brazilian Spa Clay Body Cream. And it's got the Shower Power technology. So we're going to see. This has moisturizers with mango butter and acai berry. So we'll see. These were both on sale for $4.95. So I basically cleared out the shelf. I cleared out the shelf for this one because I knew it worked. But not for this one. This is the only spa clay one I have. So I have to try this. This is what it looks like. I have to try this one because I haven't tried that one before. Um, then, last but not least, from Marshalls. For my summer... Purse for my hand lotion. I picked up some Pacifica little hand lotion. Now this is actually, I'm not going to use this for a hand lotion. This is a luminizing body butter, so it's got sparklies in it. $3.99 at Marshalls. 
So that won't be in my purse. But I did get the Tahitian Gardenia Body Butter, which smells insanely good. That tube is beautiful. And the Indian Coconut Nectar Body Butter. It looks like this. And I actually had a tube of this and I used it up. This is um, the most realistic coconut scent. It just does not smell. It just smells so good. And I have a perfume roll on with this. And I had some shower gel in this. I got a kit from Sephora. I reviewed it a while ago. And so I still have the perfume roll on. And now I have some more lotion. So I'm excited about that. That is it for this week's goodies. If you've picked up any of this stuff, let me know in the comments what you think about it. And I will be reviewing everything in later shows. So it's just it's all going on the list. And there will be reviews for all of it. And I will share your, my thoughts with you at another time about it. But again, let me know in the comments if you picked up any of this stuff and what you think of it. Okay, if you have been following me on Facebook or Twitter or any of those things, you have seen me post pictures of this. These are the e.l.f. lotion wipes. I have them in vanilla and coconut. I was flabbergasted when I saw these. When I saw them in the first Martians I saw them in, there was only one package. It was just this package. And I stared at it, and immediately when I saw the package, first thing I thought of was makeup remover wipes. Then I read it and it says lotion wipes. And I'm like, huh? Lotion wipes? What does that mean? I also, I love this snap. I don't know who invented this packaging for these things. Because remember you used to have to peel off that plastic thing? Oh, I love this packaging. Anyway, it is a wipe. But it is covered. It is saturated with lotion. I should say covered because it's through and through. So what you do is you just rub it on, and it's clear, so it's not like white residue coming off. It's, it, seems, it feels more like an oil, um, but I rub it on my nails, on my cuticles. I rub it on my fingers, in between my fingers. I have also used this on arms and legs, on my feet. It dries really, really fast, so you're not sticky or anything, um, and you can, of course, after you have actually used the look, because this does, if you use it on your arms and legs, it will kind of start to dry out. Now it's still pretty moist because I'm only using this on my hands. But I did not find it sticky, and then you can massage it in with your hands like this. And it's more, it's like a oily, lotiony kind of thing. It's not just oil. It's not just lotion. It's a weird combo. And you just treat it, you just treat it with like lotion. It's awesome if you're worried about lotion spilling in your bag. It's actually good to use with kids. Kids sometimes don't rub the lotion deep enough into their hands. So this would be great for them to just rub on top of their hands just to get rid of any ashiness. Um, smells like vanilla coconut. It's actually a nice scent. And there are like five or six different scents. There's mango, there's honey, honey, and honey and milk. Um, I can't think of the other scents. But there is a variety. I've seen them in Burlington Coke Factory. I've seen them in Marshalls. I've seen them in TJ Maxx. Great product. Cute packaging. I love the black, too. And just a great idea. This is infused with aloe, cocoa butter, vitamin E soil, Soy, ginkgo biloba, coconut milk, sweet almond oil to revitalize and nourish the skin. So it's perfect for travel, perfect for on the go. And this is a light package, so this is not bulky to carry around in your purse either. You might think like, oh, who's going to carry on it? But this is really light. It's, it's as much as, it weighs as much as this. It weighs as much, well this isn't full anymore, but it weighs as much as this. So it's not heavy. This isn't bulky to carry. I really like this product. So it's $3 on the e.l.f. website. It has been $2.99 everywhere else I have seen it. That includes Burlington Co. Factory. So it's $2.99 in there too. I say give them a try. You might like them. I thought they were, I think they're genius. I really love them. I have so many other lotions to try. That's the only reason I didn't buy more of the different ones. But I, I just I just think it's so cool. These are my great Christmas presents. 
So, TJ Maxx Marshalls, Burlington Coat Factory. Check out those places if you want to try these. Or, of course, you can go ahead for a penny more and order them off of the e.l.f. website. So, let me know in the comments if you've tried it, if you've seen it, what you think about it. Um, let me know. I'm really curious. I haven't seen anybody else talk about it or anybody else with it. So, I do want to know what you think, if you have had a chance to try it. Hey everybody, it's time for some beauty news. And sorry, but I had to turn the air conditioner back on. This is Bella Boo, a new skincare line at Ulta for girls, I'm assuming. Um, here are their face masks. Now the prices on these were a lot, in my opinion. All the face masks were $9.99. All the other skincare, a facial, um, a wash, an exfoliator, a moisturizer, and then a serum for zits. $12.99 a piece, and then they had a starter kit with just the basic skin care, the wash, the exfoliator, and the moisturizer for $34. So here's the, the wash from the left, the, exfoli the exfoliator, and then the moisture do, which is their moisturizer. So those individually, $12.99. Here they are, all are in a set, and this set is $34.99. I thought everything was kind of pricey to be marketed to teen girls, but that's my opinion. So, I don't know. Check that out in Ulta. This is another skincare line that was in there called Geo Girl. So, this is some of their mineral powder. And then they had a moisturizer. They had makeup remover. I'm pretty sure that blue thing in the middle of the picture that's coming up is a primer, if I remember correctly. So, there's no chemicals, no paraffins, no... Um, you know, the same list of stuff that's not in anything. Uh, and these weren't that expensive. Things were up to like $8. They had lip glosses. They had lip balms. They had lip shines, which I guess are their version of a lipstick. There are a lot of pro products. I couldn't get the best angle of pictures because of how the products were situated. They were kind of close to the floor. But here's a bigger picture of all things they had. They had mascara. And I thought the packaging was cute, very eco-chic with the brown tubing and not a bunch of extraneous colors and that kind of stuff. So you might want to check that out. This is Pixel Nail Polish. I don't remember seeing this last time I was in Ulta. So they had this little gift set here for $4.99. Perfect for Christmas. Started thinking about the holidays, ladies and gents. And then there was this huge display of all the colors, which honestly, it was a little picked over. So I think these are pretty popular because look, it's a lot of empty spots on here. These are actually two for four dollars, and I took a picture of the sign. The regular price is two dollars and forty nine cents. I thought that was a lot for a mini nail polish. I personally think these should have been ninety nine cents. The way the Essence nail polishes are, um, yeah, that's my opinion though. That. Which I'm sure they don't hold to because it's like they're probably like, that's more nail polish. Now, this is Kimmy Key's Celebrity Nail Technician to the Stars Press On Nail Line. So, as you can see, they were on sale. The regular price, I think, was $8.99, so they were a dollar off. These are the ones that I was looking at, the polka dot ones, but then I chickened out. They were just too much for me. They are too much. I don't think I could handle that. So I didn't get any because it wasn't the price that was turning me off because I've totally paid $8 for nails before, but I just didn't get any. And the only ones they had were the polka dot ones and they had two different glitter ones. These pink glitter ones and then these aqua glitter ones that are coming up next, which were nice. I actually like the subtle shimmer on these, but still, I don't want to wear those for a week. Oh, and guess what? They have press on nail tabs similar to the impress nail tabs. In that they were supposed to stay on for seven days. So I don't know. This is a skincare line that caught my eye. It's 100%. Um, well, it's not 100%, but it has Moroccan oil in it. So the first box is a bottle of Moroccan oil. And then there was also, what is this coming up? This is the face milk. So this is a facial cleanser with Moroccan oil in it. I like the packaging on these two. I thought it was pretty. The Velvet Facial Cleansing Milk. Then this was a Smooth Body Milk. But I'm assuming this is some type of lotion. Then they had a specific treatment thing for your face. It was a smaller tube, a moisturizer. 
And the stuff, this stuff wasn't cheap. I think everything was 30 bucks. So here's the revitalizing anti-aging cream. And then the last box I'm actually going to show you is the Moroccan oil. So it's supposed to be 100% Moroccan oil. Two fluid ounces. I really like the Josie Marin Moroccan oil I had. I used it as a moisturizer during the winter until I ran out. I got it as a sample of beauty. It was a 100 point thing at Sephora. And I liked it. Now this, I just finished reading a review on it in the Allure with Anne Heche on the cover. And you don't need to heat this up. It's a facial wax hair remover. You just squeeze it out the tube, press on the strips, and then pull it off. It's supposed to work great. Ulta has skin care now, people. Did you guys know this? And it has Advanced Protection Factor Plus, whatever that is. So they have got some of everything in the skincare line. They have got scrubs. They have got serums. They have masks. They have moisturizers. They've got wipes. They've got everything. They even have a little fake, not fake, well, yeah, fake Clarisonic, a little mechanical skin brush for you to use with their products. So I was really surprised to see this. The thing was, though, everything was buy one, get one 50% off, which is the most half-assed type of sale that there is to have. Like, just go all the way and be 50, buy one, get one free, which is what I was looking for. Had it been buy one, get one free, I would have gotten these cleansing wipes, which were $8.99, but at buy one, get one half off, I still got to spend extra money. Or, the other option would have been to have everything be 50% off. Then maybe, you know, you would have bought two products. But no, it wasn't that, and there was tons of stuff sitting there, and I think which I think means everybody feels the same way I do because it's Ulta brand. It's like, you don't know what this is going to do for your skin anyway, your facial skin. So, oh well. Now, this is on the clearance rack. You guys know I love the clearance rack. And this is the Home Medics Body Bubbles Bath Spa. It was only 40 bucks, but I didn't want to get it because I wasn't sure how I was going to be able to clean it after I had used it or where I was going to hang it to dry, so I didn't get it. Now, Vitabath has this awesome new product line of shower gel slash body washes. This is the Cupcake Couture line, Heavenly Coconut Cream, Scrumptious Vanilla Sugar, Luscious Lemon Cream, and Dreamy Pink Frosting. This is their Spa Day line, Green Tea and Sage, Lavender Chamomile, Cucumber and White Tea, and Citron Leaves. The Citron Leaves smelled really good. I was so surprised. So did the Green Tea and Sage. Then there is the In Bloom collection, which is all floral. So there was Nouveau Rose, Asian, Orchid, and Coconut, Beach Blossom, and Ivy and Lily. And then last but not least is a Fruit Fanatic line. All fruit scents, Wild Red Cherry, Pomegranate and Blood Orange, Green Apple and White Lily, and Grapefruit Vanilla. These are all $9.99. I cannot wait to try them. Oh my goodness. So excited. This is just a glimpse of something. I had to put this in here because I'm so excited I have it. I have been looking for this for months. I have the companion exfoliator to this. There are two from Earth Therapeutics. There's an aloe and kiwi, and then there's the oat melon honey. And I finally got the oat melon honey. Now, this is from Jessica Nails, Jessica Nail Line. And it's a rescue system for your cuticles, nails, and hands. This was $12.99. I didn't get it. Because they all looked picked over. They all looked open because the products were turned around. The labels were the wrong way. So what you got was a cuticle cream, a lotion for your hands, and then some of the Phenomenon oil, which is almost what made me buy it because I've had that before. And I thought, I think it's great. I had it with a brush, though, not the dropper. Now, this is just a Juicy Couture purse that I saw in a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx. Either one doesn't matter. Do not pay full price for Juicy Couture. Be on the lookout in TJ Maxx and Marshalls. It's always in there. This is delicious. And it was a dipped cone from McDonald's. So if you haven't got one of these, you need to get one. It was $1.29, I think. And it was so good. They, you know, pull the cone and then they dip it in like a magic shell type thing. Really good. Now, this is from Burlington Co. Factory. It is a mini martini set. Like, how cute is this? So you got six martini glasses, little baby ones, and then a martini pitcher, $12.99. And they also had a mini margarita set with six little mini margarita glasses and then a margarita pitcher. I thought this was so cute. I'm definitely getting this margarita one. Um, I love Burlington Co. Factory. It's one of my new favorite places. 
Last but not least is something you might be looking for for the summer. It is a flip-flop rack. It goes over your door and it holds eight pairs of flip-flops. I think it's eight. Just too cute. You know flip-flops are kind of hard to store. This makes them up and off the floor and out of the way. 